um, we're back to uh, decorate the base. We're going to um, make a couple of little accessories. I decided to uh, to possibly give our Red Queen a couple of hearts made with polymer clay. And I'm not sure how many I'm going to be using, but uh, here's her base and uh, it's still in the process of being decorated and painted, but I'm thinking of making the hearts right now. And what I'm doing, I'm using um, Primo Polymer Clay, that's red color. If you don't have red, you can take a flesh tone and add a little bit of uh, red oil paint to it and mix it up. Uh, just make sure to wear gloves when you do that because, well, you always see what happens with the clays like that. They usually uh, kind of leach the color a little bit. And this one's uh, manufacturer's um, made, manufacturer made, but you can still see I have red fingers from it. So just take a, um, a small amount of clay, roll it up on your piece of tile. It's good to use a small piece of tile like this because you can actually put the whole thing in the oven and you want um, your designs to be flat in the back because we will be gluing them onto the flat surface. So keep them flat as, pos as, flat as possible. Um, I'm using also my acrylic roller. So I'm just rolling out the clay, probably a millimeter thickness. And I'm working right on that tile that's going into the oven. I will try not to remove them. So I'm going to make a bunch of little hearts. I don't know how many I'm going to be using. One, two, three, or a whole bunch of them, or maybe all of them, as many as I can make. We'll see. So here's what I got. I got a one millimeter thickness here. Uh, you know what? I think we should thicken it up a little bit. Okay, yeah. Let's um, let's make it maybe a little bit more than one millimeter. Let's make them pop a little bit better. One millimeter looks looks at just a tad um, thin. So let's maybe do um, what do we have? Two? Yeah, maybe two. Two millimeters should be fine. Okay, let's see how many hearts gonna come out from here. So I have, just even at that side. If you would like to have an even surface of, of clay, um, you can put uh, rubber bands on both sides of the roller. And once, uh, when you're gonna be rolling, your the rubber bands will uh, make sure that, will kind of prevent the roller from going uneven tipping uh, towards left or right, and you will have an even layer of clay. Um, I don't actually have to be super precise here because the hearts will be, um, they all will kind of be individual and I like them to be dimensional, so I don't really care that much of, of uh, thickness, um, of uniform thickness, so I'm just uh, kind of using my eye and my hand here. I'm not worried about the uh, even consistency, um, thickness of clay. I'm going to be using these little cutters. You can buy a whole bunch for the different designs. I have circle here, a flower, and a little teardrop, and I have a little heart. So what I'm doing, let me just zoom in a little bit so you guys can see better. Yeah, just maybe zoom in a little bit more. I'm going to be cutting out a few of these little hearts. I don't know how many I'm going to be using, but we'll see. I'm going to bake a few. And I'm cutting all the way down to my tile. I can actually feel the tile. Okay, so let me just remove that stuff in in between. I think one of the hearts got lifted too. Okay, that's all right. Yeah, see they're, they're a little bit dimensional. I'll show you in a second. Let's take this. Take this one out. I have to make sure they're all flat in the back because that's what we want. See, here's a whole bunch of hearts. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven hearts here. I don't know 
maybe I will be using all of them or maybe not but let's make one more heart so I have an even 12 just in case it, if I wanted to use a certain number on each side I don't even know how many I'm going to be using so, but it doesn't really matter since I'm baking might as well just bake all of them okay so just make sure they're all flat because we we have to glue them after and I'm going to put them in the oven and bake them uh, for 20 minutes at 275 degrees okay